ever wondered how wildlife crews managed to capture the perfect shot right in the heart of the action. Check out the behind the scenes to see the great lengths that the crew went to to film Hostile Planet. Rockhopper penguins live in cold, quite often brutal conditions. It's a pretty tough location to get to. It's very remote. It's quite near Antarctica. We were there for about a month, so it was a, a long trip. And so we really got to spend a lot of time with those penguins. The best thing for us is to be noticed by the species we're filming and get them completely used to us being there so we're just part of the furniture. We were filming where the penguins were coming onto shore. Essentially, it was a sort of boulder field. It's covered in a thin film of guano, which is fine when it's dry, but the second you get any moisture, it essentially becomes like walking on ice. It's sunset here on New Island in the Falklands, and I've just been waiting for penguins to return from the sea. And the bit I'm actually trying to film at the moment is where they explode from the water onto the dry land. And to do this, I'm using a high-speed filming rig. I've got to time it exactly right, and you get barely any warning at all. What's on the agenda today? Uh, so today, we are taking the uh, giant homemade crane down uh, to the penguins. It's just what we call a pole cam, um, but a sort of a, an enormous version of that. Really, the whole point of the crane is to have a camera at the end and us as far away as possible. So here's a business end of the crane. So far, it looks good, so we'll give it a go. Ultimately, we were trying to capture how difficult it was for a penguin to feed its chicks. We wanted to see how they coped in really hostile conditions. And we got lucky because we got the biggest storm in the Falklands that they'd had for 30 years. It was pretty scary, actually. So the storm has kicked in, and the penguins are still coming in. There was 80 mile an hour winds, the waves were getting bigger. <laughs> We didn't know how far these waves were going to come up the shore. We were playing this fine gambling game where you definitely wanted to be safe, but you wanted to try and get that immersive feel of what it's like to be a penguin coming in in a storm. The thing that really stands out is how well these animals can cope with some of the most hostile conditions you can imagine. Every time you come back from a shoot, you have fresh admiration for these amazing animals.